uh, state of dev. Cool. Uh, take it away, Jay. <laughs> you know exciting what's going on. All right. Uh, uh, if you remember anything at all. I, I, I do. I just don't know what is news. And I don't know what news oh, that's true. is yeah. Yeah. supposed to be said or not. Like, I don't know what you said last week or anything. But... I, I, don't, I don't think... Uh, I'm trying to remember as well what I've said. Uh, so we're still... What we've said is that update 5 is going to come sometime fall 2021. And there's going to be one bajillion people saying, oh, 2022, oh, confirmed. Um, so, so we're working on update 5. We've uh, kind of changed a little bit how we were structuring the, the updates uh, when we uh, decided to not do update 5 before our vacation period, so to speak. Um, so the update, the update 5 is going to be a little bit bigger than we anticipated. Um, and it changed a little bit how we, yeah, our structure, essentially. <clears throat> um, so, so that's like confirmed so far. Once we have a date, once we actually know when we think update five actually misleaded, that will get, let you guys know, of course. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna try and do a similar thing with update four, where before we, you know, reveal update five, we're gonna like give you guys some info about update five and what's gonna change, and uh, if there's any rebalancing that you need to do or. Um, and what's coming in update five essentially, and uh, but when that starts, I don't know exactly because it depends a little bit about when we feel like update five is going to come. There's going to be an epic trailer. Yes, we've actually already started working on that. Uh, Ooh. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of exciting things are happening, but we're still pretty much in like the planning phase of things. So we've started prototyping some things for update five. We're trying to narrow down like what update five is going to be exactly. Um, and uh, yeah, there's once... a lot of cool stuff from update 5 that's like yeah. sort of already functional right? Yeah, it's um, pretty cool and as soon as we feel like now is a good time to start like revealing things then we're going to start revealing things yeah. essentially so but in between now and then you're stuck with us <laughs> or something <laughs> and we have some ideas for, for content in the meantime as well interesting yep. stuff maybe some, some stuff that's like kind of about update 4 but more in depth or you know informative it might still be interesting you know so we can we can milk update four a little longer <laughs> <laughs> exactly my words almost exactly yeah uh yeah so uh that's that's pretty much state of dev currently like there's probably there's gonna be a little bit of period now where maybe you won't get yeah. like the latest and greatest news every single week you know because because uh, yeah. things really ramp up like the last couple of months before we reached like our internal deadline or whatever for things uh and, and like yeah right now we're just like trying to figure out what's going on and uh what we want to do hmm. yeah and it's it's sort of like a you know I, i'm not developing anymore i'm not a programmer anymore and you know neither are you but th this this point like right after an update is usually like pretty exciting when you start working on a bunch of new stuff because you start you start getting a lot of, lot of like, from my experience, like a lot of quick wins because you, yeah. you, you're making new things. It's a really creative process. Um, you bust out a bunch of features. They're not quite working yet, but they're cool and they're new and they're fresh, you know, for us. So it's usually like, I, I don't know what the the um, the dev team is like, but feeling at the moment. But I, I know that in my experience, this period is usually pretty exciting, pretty fun yeah. uh, time. It's so. also a period where everything feels possible and you're like, oh, it's going to be amazing. And we're going to be able to like build this amazing machine thing that can shoot lasers and, and poop on poop gold and stuff. And then uh, when you actually start developing it, you're like, oh, there's limitations here. Uh, but before you get to that point, when you're prototyping, everything looks good and dandy. Yep. Uh, yeah. And then you get close to the deadlines, and then the stress comes in, yeah. and the existential dread kicks in, and then and everyone's like, "Give us the update!" And we're like, "Oh God!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. 